I said something on Friday about WrestleMania. We'll talk about Raw first, and then I'll bring up something I said Friday that people think I'm just mad and crazy for saying it. And I don't mean mad as in angry. I mean mad as in nuts. You're a madman. You're a madman. No, well, you know what? I'll say it now. I'll say it now. I honestly believe, and I'm not just saying this because 2020, although coronavirus is here, 2020 has not been a bad year for yours truly. Even March was not all that bad. Um, you know, it's it's fu- there's a lot fucked up. Don't get me wrong. And even here. But um, I honestly think WrestleMania is going to be 10 times better than we all think it's going to be. I really do. And I'm well, not just we're going, also we're going in with low expectations, don't you think that's the whole thing? Too? Yeah, but you know, look, I I try to look at the high end of, for example, you know, when they had the broken hardies come into WWE and they were doing a little bit of uh stuff, and then they did that spoof. Uh, well, I, I don't even think the Hardys were in yet. It was the 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 Wyatts versus the New Day, and they did con- the reason why I'm bringing this up is because some of that was actually pretty good, and some of it was average and you know a little corny. But mm-hmm. WWE, you know, when you think of, and this is something I said le- a week ago, I said that they have to have quite a few quote unquote gimmick matches like street fights. And you think of AJ Styles and Undertaker. And, I, and I'm sorry for those who tuned in Friday. That sounds like a broken record. But you think of that match. You think of Cena and Bray Wyatt Funhouse match. Firefly Funhouse match. Right. You think of Edge and Randy Orton having a, just a flat-out brawl. You even want to bring up Gargano Champa, Empty building, just a ring and a referee. You know, whoever, you know. So when you think of all of that, and it's all pre-taped on top of it, you know, that has the capability of really turning out something tremendous. And the reason why I say that is because you record something a week and a half early. We'll use Undertaker AJ Styles. Right. after Or even halfway through the match. And I know... People will not like, some people will not like what I'm about to say. But at the end of the day, pro wrestling is entertainment. Doesn't matter if it's Ring of Honor or New Japan or MLW or AEW. If it's a predetermined finish, it's it's entertainment. But the thing is, is that halfway through the match, if something is botched, cut, stop the recording, pick up the match where it left off, splice, edit, cut, after they do a spot, oh, shit, what if we did this? Oh, man, all right. So they can add splice. I already pre- am predicting. Now, they're going to do, and I brought this up Friday, they're going to do like what they did with Jeff Hardy with the the with the with um, the final deletion. When Jeff Hardy fell into the water and then all of a sudden he can't, <laughs> he was Willow. So you know they're going to do splice, cut, stop, record. Bray Wyatt's going to come out as the the fiend. He's going to be not the fiend. You're going to see a lot of creative editing. And I know because we're wrestling fans, we always want to, we prefer to see a match genuine, raw, live from beginning to end without anything manipulating it. You know, we hate it when crowd noise gets piped in later on or camera work gets shifted. But in a case like this, it's with all of this stuff being done beforehand and being done in the environments that they're in, you know, they can record and edit and add this and take this out and make Undertaker look like a trillion dollars in his match. I truthfully believe some of the matches are going to be one, two minutes, boom, done, bullshit think so yeah but i think there are at least four or five matches that i feel wwe they know the negativity that's out there they know the pressure that they're in everybody that's performing is going to want to 
shut everybody up and show everybody that, yeah, we could still fucking knock it out of the park. I think there's going to be a four or five matches that we're going to look back on it and say, that was fucking awesome. Yeah. Could be. 